I host American Ninja Warrior on NBC, and the guy's going, what is that going to lead to? You host a reality show on NBC. What, what, what is your future? Apparently a 50-50 shot at the presidency. 2015, Trump was hosting Celebrity Apprentice. Now he's about to make the West Wing a reality. And here's the thing. I don't know if you know this in Hollywood. Nobody respects. The Television Academy doesn't respect reality TV. But little Peter Dinklage, he's not about to have his finger on the button. What's up with that, motherfuckers? <laughs> I, uh, I, don't, I don't have any kids. And um, people always tell me, though, Matt, I think you'd make a great father. Which I think is a polite way of saying, I'm immature. Because I, 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 my brother has a kid, and he says, like, his wife fell in love with the kid the second she held that baby. Any women in here have a kid experience that? She said it was love at first sight. And I thought about that. Like, how can you love something you don't know? Like, you haven't been on a road trip with that kid. You haven't been in Vegas and it held your hair while you vomited at Hard Rock Cafe. You have no history. How could you possibly love it? I looked it up and I realized the reason women love their children when they're first born is their body secretes a substance called oxytocin that stimulates the same centers of the brain as heroin. You're nodding your head. You realize your body actually is drugging you to love that. You don't love that kid. You're addicted <laughs> to your child. Every time a mom smells their kid, it's like they're mainlining meth, just <laughs> doing little lines of love. <laughs> These kids are drug delivery devices. So when you see a mom who has five or six kids, she needs rehab. And people are like, if you don't have a kid, who's going to take care of you when you get old, Matt? And I thought, that's a selfish reason to have a kid. But I, I actually looked into this, and I did the math. Like, in, in Los Angeles, raising a kid to 18 years of age is now, the average kid to 18 years is $500,000. $500,000. So the way I see it, if I don't have two kids, I'm already a millionaire. And I know who takes care of millionaires, butlers. I'm going to get a butler, and he's going to be British. And he's going to treat me like Alfred does Bruce Wayne. Like, are we going to fight crime tonight, Master Eisman? No, but you're going to fight the crime I just committed in my diaper, Alfred. <laughs> I've been enjoying the Olympics, but I think they're getting a little carried away with what's an Olympic sport. The America, we won our first gold medal in... Air rifle. I don't think it's a sport if you train for it at Chuck E. Cheese. Like, I don't, I don't think it's a sport if you're outgunned by a slingshot. I don't think that's, that's a sport. And soccer, soccer has been a big one. And people have been trashing the U.S. because the women didn't win the gold. And the men didn't even qualify. And they're like, America, you don't even know how to play it. And like, I get it, okay? I get it. Soccer is the most entire, most popular sport in the entire rest of the world. Right, and in America, soccer's the sport you make your kid play if he can't play any other sports. Like, if your kid has the Coke bottle glasses and an asthma inhaler, he's playing soccer. He's, he's out of the field like, I'm allergic to grass. <laughs> like, but, but, you know, honestly, the only thing most Americans know about soccer is you get orange wedges at halftime. That's the extent of our knowledge. But, like, pump the brakes, rest of the world. We're still America. Like, if we took our basketball team and gave them a soccer ball and three weeks to practice, there's your gold medalists. You guys, LeBron James is 6'8", 260, the greatest athlete on the planet. Show me a soccer player who would stop LeBron from doing whatever he wants out on the soccer field. Because they're soccer players. These are the same guys who cry every time they fall down. On grass. It's... It's nature's pillow, and every time a soccer player goes down, it looks like he was kicked in the nuts and told his entire family has been murdered. Like, why? Why? No penalty? I'm fine. I didn't even like my family. Hey, you guys are awesome. Ninja Warriors back on the 22nd. I'm Matt Eisen. Thank you. Yeah.